Does the time bother you? I get bothered by the time. Not so much the time itself, the people bother me for the time. People come up to me on the street. I'm sure you've had this happen to you. People come up to you and say, what time it is? Well, they might say, what time is it? <laughs> I shouldn't get into these ballads. <laughs> you've had people come up to you and say, what time is it? What time is it? As if you personally were responsible for keeping time? You know, I feel, I feel honored, first of all, that they thought I was the man in charge. But I do have to explain, you don't see official timekeeper on here, do you? I don't have the time, of course not. Do you have the time? That's another way they say, do you have the time? I say, uh, no. I don't believe I do. I said you didn't have it this morning. Did you leave it somewhere? Well, do you have the time? No, I don't have the time. I use a little of it, like everyone, you know. But I don't have it. I think, I think the Navy has it. In Washington, isn't it? They keep it in an observatory, that's right. Sure, they let out a little of it each day. Not too much, they wouldn't want to give us too much. Just enough time. Sometimes they'll say, do you know what time it is? And I say, yes. 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 <laughs> I hate to disappoint them, but there is no time. But there is no time. <laughs> Everybody's got a different one. Chinese way up there in the five and six thousands. Hebrew calendar way up in the five and six thousands. We're open about 1970 something. Shit. This ain't a couple of weeks. These people are off. This is thousands of goddamn years. Of this event. How did they do that? We don't know when the hell it is. It could be the middle of last month for all we know. It could be the middle of last month. It could be the middle of last month. It could be the middle of time. For all we know. I mean, time is so, we've got it down so perfect that every four years we have to stick in an extra day just to make sure it still works. We call it February 29th. Oh shit, it's March 1st and I know it. It just feels like March 1st. You can't keep track of the time. What's the sense? Give you an example. There's a moment coming. It's not here yet. It's still on the way. It's in the future. It hasn't arrived. Here it comes. Here it is. Oh shit, it's gone. Here it is. Oh shit. Here it is. Here it is. Here it is. Here it is. Oh shit. Here it is. There's no now. There's no now. Everything is the near future or the recent past. But there's no present. Welcome to the present. Gone again. It's just so imprecise. We don't even care to use the minutes and seconds and hours that we've been given. Everybody's very vague about the time. You say, what time you got? Uh, I got, uh, I got just after. <laughs> just after? She 
Sheesh, I must be slow. I had going on. <laughs> and where did that imprecision begin? Why is it we're not so sure? I know one of the clues that happened to me was when they started telling me about moments. When I was a kid, they were trying to teach me how to tell time. And of course, you can't tell time. Time tells you. But they were trying. They were trying to show me. On the big hand, I said, I don't have a big hand. Never mind. Look at the clock, and the clock is so wonderful. There's so much emotion attached to a clock face. I hate digital clocks. Digital clocks rob me of all the emotional experience of the spatial relationships on that face of the clock. Isn't it true? I mean, don't you always feel that this half hour, when it comes down from 12 down to 6, goes by a lot quicker than this half hour, when it has to come up fighting gravity all the way? I know, it does go a lot quicker. God. Oh, I got you. I'll tell you this, if I only have a half hour to live, I want it to be this one, man. I'm gonna last just a little bit longer than that one, man. It's vague. That's all I'm saying. It's very vague how we treat time. We have all these wonderful expressions. We say now. Now is an interesting one. When? Now you want that now? Yes. Well, would you like to try again? <laughs> well, sometimes just now. Just now. Did you hear that? What? Just now. Just now. You mean, must mean just, just then, then, don't you? <laughs> yes, just then. But there it goes again. When? Now? No, not now. now. <laughs> Pardon me, do you have the time? When do you mean now or when you ask me? <laughs> this shit is moving, Ruth. This shit is moving, Ruth. This shit is moving, Ruth. flashes in a jiffy myself but God knows how many jiffies there are in two shakes of a lamb's tail and why did they use two shakes of a lamb's tail what's wrong with the basic unit of measurement one shake of a lamb's tail we can do our own arithmetic thank you belch a little there try to swallow it
And we go on with these terms that we use, these vague terms of time. One of these days, before long, any time now. Well, that's true. Everything's going to happen any time now. Any day now. That's kind of a snotty one, any day now. Hey, I'll be giving you that five bucks I owe you, Bill. Yeah, <laughs> any day now. Sooner or later, now and then, once in a while, from time to time, in a little while. In a little while. Well, just be a little while. That's a wonderful one. I just love that. It sounds so benign. Just a little while. Couldn't hurt you, could it? You can wait a little while. It'll only be a little while longer. Just a little while. <laughs> That's so different from a short time. Short time. Sounds almost terminal, doesn't it? You only have a short time, whereas you have a little while. Oh, I'd rather have a little while than a short time. Yeah, we got long ways we measure time. We got vast distances of time we measure. People will say things like, kingdom come. I'm, I'm going to be standing here till kingdom come. <laughs> Shit, I don't have that on my watch. Till the cows come home. <laughs> well, that's an easy one to understand. That's long about dusk, isn't it? If you leave them out overnight, they burst. <laughs> Here's a long period of time, forever. Some people will tell you, guys, I've been standing on this line forever!
fairly fresh to me. <laughs> almost like an eternity, people will tell you. It's, it's almost like an eternity, as if they had experience with eternity. Now, you must have a favorite period of time. I have some favorites. I just want to try a few of them on you. It isn't easy uh, to select a favorite period of time, so many of them are attractive, but there are little periods of time that, um, that you might relate to. Of course, the most basic period of time I feel is five minutes. That seems to be the one everyone chooses. If they need to think of a period of time real quickly, they just go, five minutes, just five minutes. I'll be there in just five minutes. Give me five minutes, would you please just, would you just give me five minutes? What, you kidding me? I can fix that shit in five minutes. Five minutes, five minutes, five minutes. Five minutes. That's all most people want, five minutes. A good, solid, nice period of time. You can do anything in five minutes, can't you? I mean anything, even things you really hate. Yeah, you're probably good. Five minutes. Hey, let's go talk to Ted. Are you kidding? Ted's an asshole. <laughs> Look, just five minutes. Okay, let's get to Five minutes. Not ten. Ten, I can't make. Now you're getting into double digits. You're starting to fool with my head. Time. 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 Five, ten minutes. Fifteen minutes is popular. You hear 15 quite a bit, but it's, it's sort of an institutional one. It's kind of an official time period. 15 minutes has a touch of regulatory uh, quality to it, doesn't it? It sounds like something you're not supposed to do or have to do for 15 minutes. 15 minutes. 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 15 minutes. 15 minutes. 20 minutes. 20 